Prince Sima Bathory Anu. We're going to uh, briefly talk about the galact. Uh, this, this is basically this is a galactic update. Right now, we are um, what uh, thirty days into the galactic convergence. All right, and if you all don't know what convergence means. Convergence means to unify, to create a union. So all the, the, the galaxies, all right, all across the cosmos and other universes as well, all of the galaxies are in communication, unifying themselves to become a stronger, um, to become a, a, a stronger uh, um, organism because these are all organisms okay so what we're looking at is science in the making brothers and sisters um, these white folk really don't know what's going on they are trying to guess at everything but because they are not cosmic they don't understand the cosmos they will never understand the cosmos even uh, after someone like me who's given them, you know, pure information and, and evidence behind the information or whatever else, you know, they still have to study it. And then later on, you're going to you're going to find them um, coming out of the, the shadows uh, talking about uh, or better yet, just pretty much like, oh, yeah, you know, this is what we discovered. You know, this is that's pretty much how they're going to do it. They're going to be like, this is what we discovered. And, um, you know, this is expected of them. Um, right now, we're going to we're going to talk to science real quick. All right. During this galactic convergence, the galaxies are communicating with each other. All right. And they are trading um, information. The type of information that they're trading is they basically, you know, it's, it's radio frequencies that's coming from galaxy to galaxy. All right. These are radio frequencies and they're communicating and they're sending information to each other. And these galaxies are learning each other and they're learning the energies around them and they're learning the surrounding energies around them. I mean, so, you know, it's like. It's, uh, we're looking at some powerful information of some powerful, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, activities is going on. All right. So right now, if you guys remember, we talked about perpetual motion, centripetal force, thermodynamics. Remember we talked about that and, you know, perpetual motion literally means that there's an organism that's, you know, in a, in a spherical shape that um, is spinning and is not plugged into anything, all right? Which is our galaxies. You got a heart of a galaxy and this galaxy is spinning and the, plan, the planets that's within the galaxy are also spinning. They're spheres and they're also spinning, all right? So what, what you have is centripetal force. Centripetal force talked about when something, an organism increases its spin, what happens is it creates frequencies and it sends out frequencies, all right? And the frequencies that it sent out are drawing frequencies to it. Okay, so we're talking about some powerful um, energy, some powerful force, brothers and sisters. All right, we're talking some very powerful energy, some powerful force. Some, some you know, this this is like you know, um, some unlearned information. 
So doing this con- what? within this convergence here, the frequencies of the galaxies are becoming stronger. And this affects everything within the galaxy. You remember star systems are within the galaxy as well. So this affects everything. This affects the, the planets. This affects the atmosphere, the ionosphere, you know, all the different <clears throat> spherical layers of planets. It affects everything. All right? So that's your, that's your, you talk, we did the perpetual motion, we did the, the centripetal force, which means that the faster this organism spins, it creates frequencies, and these frequencies are radio frequencies, okay? These frequencies are radio frequencies that are, that, and, and, and what's happening is the, the galaxies are creating new radio frequencies, all right? So what you gotta, you gotta go, you gotta get into when you start creating new frequencies, new radio frequencies, this is when you get into that supernova state, all right? This nova, and the Latin term means new. All right? So this is where you're starting to tap into that supernova state, and this is what's happening right now. Because mankind has been talking about it for a minute. They said, you know, we're, we're noticing frequencies that we've never seen before, that we've never heard before. You know, these frequencies are, are, are alien to us. And what it is is you got to understand the organisms called galaxies. But then you gotta understand the science behind everything, the centripetal force. And like we said, in the, in the centripetal force, you have new frequencies being created, frequencies being sent out, and from those frequencies being sent out, now frequencies are being received. Why? Because these galaxies are receiving the frequencies, you know, like, for instance, you got galaxy A, B, and C. So, Galaxy A is spinning faster now. It's creating new frequencies. It's sending out frequencies. Now, Galaxy A, uh, B and C connects to those frequencies. They're also spinning faster as well. So, they send frequencies out. So, B sends frequencies out and, and A and C catches them. C sends frequencies out. A and B catches it. You see what I'm saying? A sends frequencies out. B and C catches it. Now they're sharing frequencies. And these frequencies are... The, the frequencies, these radio frequencies that they're sharing is helping them or are helping them to become more unionized. And this is, this is you know, like we say, this is what convergence means. To unionize, to... to, to to make a unity. So these galaxies are now unifying with each other through communication. All right? Which means that the this was this is where thermodynamics come into play. Thermodynamics talks about when you have this perpetual motion, you spin it on its own. Not plugged into anything. And now you got centripetal force. The spin has increased. It's, incre- it's, it's creating new frequencies, new radio frequencies. It's sending out radio frequencies, and and now it's receiving radio frequencies as it's sending out radio frequencies. Okay. Now this increases the heat, and the thing about it is, the heat, the heat is increased frequencies. All right. So when you're talking about our planet is extremely hot, why? Because our planet is a, is, is, is a living organism. It's fully metallic. And it's creating, it's, it's frequencies that's going through the air. And you and what you feel is the powerful frequencies in the atmosphere, all throughout the air, all throughout the planet. That's what you feel. So this is, this is that heat, which is why the white man wants to try to cool off the planet to make it more suitable for them when it's not their planet to be on. They have a planet that they can go to that's suitable for them with very low frequencies and very low vibrations. But they want to be here because they want to own 
the resources of this world. They want to own resources. They want to control the resources. It makes them feel good to be in power because the planet that they come from, they were not in a, in a state of power. Okay? So this is uh, the, the galactic update. All right? So this is, like I said, this is all the galaxies because we already had the universal convergence where all the universes communicated with each other and now the universes are parallel to each other all right and they have unified now the galaxies are now in convergence all right and like we say they created this circle and they are they are now unifying I have 60 more days left for the galactic conversion all right I have 60 more days for the galactic convergence and then after the, that 60 days, we're gonna have a short period, all right? And then um, that's, that's gonna be um, June 30th, all right? That's, that'll be 90 days, June 30th. July 18th, which is Monday, uh, July 18th, um, we'll begin the planetary convergence. Well, all the planets will begin to share information with each other, which means what's going to happen? The planet's going to increase her spin, okay? And she's going to be creating some new frequencies. And she's going to be sharing frequencies. And all the other planets are going to be all sharing frequencies as well. So our planet, our mother Kai, will be receiving extremely high levels of frequencies from all the other planets in our solar system. Remember, the other planets go beyond Jupiter, Mars, Venus, Neptune, no, no, no. Like we say, all those stars that you see in the sky are nothing but planets. And we named off some of those planets when we when we named off the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper and uh, also what they call the Three Kings. We named off some of those planets. So all of these planets are going to increase their spin, which means that when you look into the sky afterwards, those planets are going to be looking brighter. Why the, why the brightness? You know, you got to understand all these planets are fully metallic because this galaxy is a metallic black galaxy. This is a plasma-based uh, universe. Plasma is, is, is an organic metal, all right? Plasma is an organic metal, and what happens when you increase the energy of plasma? It begins to glow even brighter. So our planet will, is, is, is in the preparation of increasing her spin, July 18th. All right, after July 18th, you're going to see a whole lot of stuff. So it's going to be 180 days. So we're looking at July 18th to uh, January 18th of 2023, where um, you're talking about this uh, planetary convergence, which means that the planets are then going to begin unifying with each other. All right. The planet's going to begin unifying with each other, and they're going to be sending out some massive, massive frequencies to each other, and um, and they're going to be doing just like the universes and the galaxies. Okay. Very soon, we're going to be working on a um, a melanin convergence, where all the brothers and sisters will have to will have no other choice but to unify and to share frequencies and vibrations uh, to each other. We, you know, we're not talking about sex, brothers and sisters. <laughs> we're not talking about sex, all right? So if anybody get that idea, <laughs> it's not that, all right? But um, this is just galactic update. So you guys have an idea what's going on, all right? This is why our son, is so hyperactive. These, like I said, these 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 white folk, they don't understand anything. They, you know, like wages were, you know, oh our son, the the they say our son. How are you gonna say our son when you gonna when you gotta hide from it? If you gotta hide from it, it's not your son. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
these they for the life of everything. These guys, you know, be tripping sometime. Um, but like, um, wait on Wages World. This guy, he be like, he be like, the sun just gave off an unexpected coronal mass ejection, and you got you got to think about it. These these inorganic beings are so. Um, what's a good word to use that's not going to sound so bad or so shallow that's a good word to use these inorganic beings are so shallow that they have this idea that they can predict when the sun is going to give off a massive eruptions and 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 when it's not that's why i don't follow the, the shit they talk all right because they don't know you know, you, 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 it's, it's impossible for you to predict energy because energy does what it wants to do, all right? Energy is free-flowing. Energy is moving all the time. Of course, these beings would love it if they could control energy and, 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 and say, I can make energy do this and I can make it, but they can't, all right? So this is all the galactic convergence, brothers and sisters. This is the galactic.